The vanadium redox battery, or VRB for short, is a type of flow battery. There are two tanks of solution, one positive, one negative, with one or more cell stacks between them. The cell stack functions like the engine of the battery. A positive electrolyte solution is pumped from a tank on one side of the battery through the cell stack, while a negative electrolyte solution is pumped from a tank on the other side of the battery. A thin membrane in the cell stack keeps the two solutions from mixing together. When the battery is being charged, the vanadium 4 plus ions in the uncharged positive electrolyte give up an electron. The electrons travel up the current collector and out from the positive half of the cell stack. They then enter the current collector of the negative half of the cell stack and jump onto the vanadium 3 plus ions in the uncharged negative electrolyte, converting it into a vanadium 2 plus solution. The addition or subtraction of electrons causes the solutions to change colour. When the battery is discharged, the opposite process takes place. Dr. Skylas Kazakis's involvement is a clear indicator of the significant role that the lac doré and INT deposits can play in the development of the VRB and other green technology. The VRB is a game changer in the arenas of renewable energy and grid level storage. All of us are familiar with the lithium battery found in our mobile phones and notebook computers. Lithium batteries gradually lose their ability to retain a charge and cease to work after a few hundred cycles. A lot of batteries are limited in how many cycles you can do because they undergo changes in the materials, in the solid materials, every time you cycle it. It changes its form and it becomes, it eventually becomes inactive, so you can't keep on recycling it. In contrast, the electrolyte solution in the VRB is inert to charge-discharge cycling. Its cycle life is, theoretically, limitless. And energy can be stored for an indefinite period of time. Energy storage is going to be a criti critical component of the smart grid. And that's where you know, we're very confident that the vanadium battery is going to play an important role. Until now, the variable nature of wind and solar power has been a major limitation. VRBs, however, are already being used with great success at a few pioneering sites in Japan and the US. Utilities companies can use VRB technology to optimize electricity supply. VRBs can store electricity during non-peak times and can provide this electricity during peak times. VRBs also have the advantage of producing no emissions. So unlike conventional power stations, VRBs can be located within towns and cities. Recent disasters like Hurricane Katrina and the 2011 Japan earthquake have made backup power a hot-button issue in the telecommunications industry. VRBs are uniquely suited to the task. In the event of a power outage, they can be relied upon to provide hours of power. The supply of vanadium has already posed a challenge for VRB manufacturers. I'm aware of a vanadium battery manufacturer who a couple of years ago they had a few, several orders of uh, vanadium bat for, for vanadium batteries and they were really struggling to get uh, their orders filled for, for the vanadium pentoxide powder. They were told that they had to wait six months for the delivery, so they were extremely concerned about how they would meet their orders. Historically, vanadium pricing has been erratic. One common misconception is that higher prices are always better for producers, as with most other commodities. Vanadium is different. Producers don't need high prices for production to be profitable. Low vanadium prices will facilitate the widespread acceptance of the VRB and other new technology by making the technology affordable. Low prices will also promote wider usage of high-strength steel products, including the invention of new steel applications. This will drive up sales volumes and increase revenue streams for producers. Conversely, higher vanadium prices mean higher profit margins from sales to the steel sector. Companies producing vanadium have a win-win situation with regard to price. <laughs>